Hi guys and welcome! In this lecture, I'm going to explain how to use some drawing tools and the keyboard shortcuts for using these commands. First of all, let's start with the line command. So, the line command is for creating lines. You have to specify or click on any point on the drawing screen and then specify the next point. As you can see, there's still some other line started creating from the end point of the original line. If you want to stop this from always uh, appearing to you, you have to click enter. And you can see that this line that you have selected has already created. So, if you want to create another line, just press on the line, specify any point, and you can see you can still be creating lines in any direction you want. And as we said, if you want to stop the line or you have been satisfied with your drawing, you can just press enter or press the escape button on the keyboard. See? Now this is good. If you want to delete this thing, what are you going to have? You have to do whether you press the, right, the left click, do this selection, and then press delete on the keyboard. Or, control Z is for the undo, the erase, okay? Very easy. If you want to delete it, you can use this erase thing down here, click on it. Once you click it, you can see that it is deleted. And then press enter. You can see that the lines that you have selected has been deleted or erased. I always recommend you to choose this, do the selection, then press delete on the keyboard. It is a lot easier and faster. Okay? Now, this is for the line. We're going to something that is called the polyline. So, and then we're going to explain what is the difference between the line and the polyline. First of all, let's create something called for like a rectangle or something. Anything inside. And then let's choose the polyline and see what is the difference. As you can see, it is the same as the polyline, as the line. So what is the difference between these two? When you move your mouse on these things, you can see that each line is separated from the other. You can see that this line has been highlighted. When you point at this line, it is alone highlighted. And then this line is highlighted by itself alone. But when you use the polyline for creating 2D shapes, you can see that the whole drawing is one thing. And you, when you select it, you can see that the whole drawing has been selected. So, you can use the polyline for creating 2D shapes. A whole 2D shapes. Okay? Press the exit or the escape button on the keyboard to undo the selection. And then here, when you click or choose any line, you can see that each line has been selected separately. Okay? And that is the difference between the line and the polyline. Now let's go to the circle command. Press the escape first of all. Let's go to the circle command. When you see the circle, there's some options for drawing the circle. You can draw the circle by determining the center and the radius of this circle. Or by determining the center and the diameter of this circle. You can just select two points and then the circle will be created. You can select three points, a tan tan radius, or tan tan tan. Let's take each option of these and do them. Let's select the center and the radius. So, as you can see in the command bar, this is telling you to specify a center point for the circle. 
just pick any point on the workspace and it will be the center of the circle. I want to create the center of this circle from this corner. Okay. As you can see, now you have to what? Specify the radius as it's written on or typed on the command line, command bar. Specify radius of the circle. You can specify it by just clicking anywhere. If I want to click here, for example, or let's pick the circle again. If you want to pick, for example, here, here, anywhere. But if you want to do it with a specific radius, for example, you want a circle with a radius of, for example, 40. Just press type 40 and as you can see 40 has been typed in here you don't have to activate anything just press 40 anywhere and then click enter on the keyboard you can see that this circle with a radius of 40 has been created okay let's just delete those circles delete now if you want to create a circle from a center diameter first of all specify the center point this is the center and then as you can see you have to specify the diameter of the circle so just put 80 and then you can see that a circle with the 80 diameter has been created there is some other options which is like the 2D point or 2 point. When you specify them, they are telling you to specify center point for the circle or specify first end point of a circle. For example, let's do this. What if I did this? And then as you can see, as you can see, you are just sitting two points for the circle and you have to set the, the first point and the end point of the diameter of the circle so let's see that I wanna create a circle around this thing see this command is very useful when creating doors or something like it now we have some other options like three points what if I wanna create a circle from this point and then this point and then I want to create it with this point I want the circle to pass all these three points from this to this and then to this now you can see that the circle has been created and it is passing all through these three points we have some other options like the tan tan radius let's see for you can see that this highlighted thing, there is a circle and then a small tangent on top of it. When you click here, and then I want, to, I want this circle to have this tan and this tangent. And then let's specify the radius, for example, I want it to be, hmm, let's have 20 or 40 as example. See, let's delete the last one, delete it. See, this circle has a tangent with this line and with this line, and it has a radius of 20, as we, as we have specified just a moment ago. Okay? So this is the tan, tan radius. Let's delete it. And we have, like, the last option, which is the tan, tan, tan. We have, like, this tan, and this tan, and this tan. Boom, a circle has been created. Okay, let's. What if we want to create a circle from in this area? Okay, let's choose this command. I want it to be tangent to this, to this, and to this. See, it has filled all the space in this area. Tangent to the circle, tangent to the circle, and tangent to this line. Very easy. It is very helpful as well. Okay, other thing. Tangent for this, tangent for this, and tangent for this. See? Very easy.
This is a very beautiful and very useful command. Now we have already passed the circle thing. Let's choose the arc. And also the arc is, has some commands in here, a lot of commands. I will specify just one thing, which is the three point. I want to specify this point and this point. And as you can see, this is an arc. And this point. The arc has been created. Other arc. This, this, and as you can see, I can choose this point. Very easy. Some other options start, center, and end. Okay. I want to start from this. Let's specify the center. You can see that what they are telling you what to do specify center point. The center, let's see this point and then you can see that we are creating very easy other options start center angle let's start from this point and this is the center but the angle let's see specify and as you can see the angle are going or rotating counterclockwise so if we have specified like 90 Let's type 90 for example. You can see that it's going from here to here, clock anti clockwise. Okay? We have some other options start center length, start center, and the length. We have a lot of commands for the arc thing. We're not going to pass around it. To, uh, I, I'm going to give you an exercise right now. You can start creating all those or using those commands to create shapes and see all the, all the options of the arc thing and try them by yourself. It's going to be very easy and interesting. Okay? Now let's move to the rectangle option. As you can see, specify first point corner and then specify the other point. Again, choose it like this. Again. As you can see, it is very easy. And as you can see, the rectangle is a whole block. It's not just lines one, two, three. If you choose the line for creating a rectangle, you can see that it is you can see that each line is separated from the whole shape but when you choose the rectangle option or command you can use it to create a whole rectangle it's a polyline see it's a polyline now let's go to create some ellipses or center things we have the, the axis and the end. Let's see what we are going to create. This thing, this thing, and then you can specify. You can see that we are creating some ellipses. Let's do it again. This point, this point, and then you can choose the right radius for it. You can whether just click on the screen when you see it's ready. Or you can specify a, a specific size or length for the radius. You can, for example, press 10 and then enter. You can see that there, this ellipse has been created along this axis with a radius of 10. Okay, let's see the other option, which is the center, only center of the ellipse. Center, other point and the radius other option let's see this thing this thing as you can see it's going to be on the orthogonal direction and then enter escape and that's it for the drawing tools